Good morning. How's everybody doing this Sunday? Um, this video is late because I was lazy and didn't want to move and do anything this morning. So it's late. Um, I've got Michael over here who's wide awake that he's usually not wide awake. Mark's working in the other room, so I should have done this earlier. <laughs> here, here's a remote if you want it. Um, but, um, yeah, so this week has been, this past week has been pretty interesting. Um, let's see, I, um, applied for the house. We were approved, so yay. Um, however, there was a glitch. There's always a glitch with me, always. So, the lady emailed me and said, you're approved, I'll let you know when a unit is ready. I just went through a unit. You gave me all the pricing on a unit. What do you mean you're going to let me... I said, my application was for that unit. What do you mean you're going to tell me when a unit is ready? And, you know, I have to be out of here by, I mean, October 1st. September 30th, October 1st. You know, I need to be gone. So, I was like, I'm not, no, 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 not okay. So... Um, I panicked a little bit and y'all know I homeschool and I work from home. Mark works from home. So I called like a sister place. Um, and they were like, oh, we've got like four or five. You can move into it. However, it was in Jacksonville. Um, didn't really want to go to Jacksonville, but you know, when you got to go somewhere, you got to go somewhere. And these are places that will accept my dog. It's like no big deal. So his size and height and all that stuff does not matter. Yes, it's another trailer, but whatever. So she goes, let me verify with that park that they have no units for you. She goes, I just have to verify that because we can't steal people. And she goes, let me verify that and then um, we can go from there. And I said, okay, perfect. So she called over to there, to this one, to the one that I was going to. Then that manager calls me and he goes here's what happened the person that took your application for that didn't know that I have had an application already running on it so you know there was some miscommunication and we're sorry and blue 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 I'm like yeah but I need to be uh, yeah I procrastinated but I need to be out of this house you know by the end of the month I don't have any time so um he was like, okay. He goes, do you really want to go to Jacksonville? I said, no, I'd rather stay around here because we babysit Little River. We get Jeremy sometimes. Kira has her friends. And we're not that far from her, the friends, so they can still come over. Um, and I'm like, I really don't want to, but I need a house. So if I have to, I have to. And he goes, all right, I'll tell you. Let's make a deal. And I'm like, oh, God. What do you mean, make a deal? But he said... Um, have you been to the park? And I'm thinking, Love, duh. You know, I've been there. I walked through this other house. Um, he goes, so, but I didn't say it like that. I'm a little bit nicer to people sometimes. But um, I said, um, um, yeah. And he goes, have you seen the brand new trailer, the 2017 trailer that's parked on the grass outside of the office? I said, yeah, I drove past it numerous times. Um, and that's what they do when they bring them in. They even do that here. They'll park them up by the office and then the office has to figure out where they're going to go and all this other crap. So, um, he goes, I'll offer you that one. And I'm like, a brand new trailer, 2017 with kids and dogs. I'm not going to say no, because that means my kids won't fall through the floors. Um, you know, it... <laughs> It'll be, everything will be new. The AC will be new, which will take my electric bill way down. Um, it should anyway. There's a lot of us in here all the time. There's always stuff running, electronics, things like that. So that stuff's always going. So we're higher than most families anyway, just because the amount of people that are in here. But we do a lot of precautions on that too, like unplug things and stuff. I try not to have the lights on like I do right now. Um, but you know, whatever. Um, so I was like, okay, 
But, you know, I still got that twinge. And he told me, I said, I have to be out again by September 30th. I do not have a choice. Um, and he's like, he goes, I tell you what. He goes, we're getting it set this week, which is this week. Like, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday. And I'm definitely going to call him again tomorrow. Or, tomorrow's Labor Day. I'm definitely going to call him on Tuesday um, to make sure we're still on. Um, he wants me to, and I think it's just a secure thing for me or him, is to um, put... $200 down on it um, just so that he has me locked in um, I'm the first application though so he also said the first application gets it so if I have it we'll see but right now I still have to pay the bills here now I have to pay the rent here now so now I'm like oh god okay so um um he just basically said, um, that's yours. You're good to go. We'll get the vendors out. Well, he said, well, they're getting it set this week. They'll get the vendors out, like, within the next two weeks. Like, the people that he calls them vendors. But they're the people that set up the electric and the um, it's water, sewer, all that stuff to it. He said, the skirting and landscaping people might not be done by the time you need to move in. Are you okay with that? And I'm like... I don't need skirting to live and I don't need grass to live you know that stuff can come later I said you will put it up though if we're in it he goes oh yeah 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 he goes it might just take to like mid-October to get them to come out he goes they're always slow and I'm like yeah I, I don't care um, so again I'm gonna call him this week and say hey what's up hello <laughs> but I'm like 99% sure we're cool and we're going to plan on moving Friday the 29th. Um, I get paid that day. That way we have extras. Michael and Mark are working on gift cards through their Insta site. So there's a lot of us. So it's going to be a day and nobody's going to want to be cooking. And just in case something goes wrong with an appliance or something like that, we're just going to plan on ordering pizza. So they're both working on gift card money now so that we have enough for pizzas and um, stuff so that's the plan on moving we've got a place as of right now until I sign a lease I'm always scared but whatever um, I just hate moving but I'll be fine we'll be fine um, if you know in worst case scenario we could go to that other place if we had you so I have two options and I'm, I'm okay with that um, so, um, yeah, that's been our focus this week, and I know I haven't been videoing, and that's my fault. I was still a little unmotivated, not for YouTube or you guys or anything like that, just unmotivated for life with taking that anxiety meds and stuff like that. It kind of, it's just, I was just like, whatever, you know, to everything, whatever. I'm kind of getting out of that stage now. I haven't taken the emergency pill for, I'd say, all week. So I still take that one every day. And, and I take that one and a whole sleeping pill. And it kind of, I think they work together really well for me. Um, but I do have the emergency pills. And I have felt twinges of anxiety, but nothing that I couldn't talk myself out of. You know, it's like, you're fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it because I hate taking medications for anything so but if I have to I have to so I have the emergency pills if needed but I've been just taking the one um, pill in the mornings and then the one pill at night and I've been taking the full pills because I'm not as groggy in the mornings and the um, I'm playing with the fidget spinner see I still have ADD um, <laughs> um, because it's stopping the if I take a half a pill I have weird dreams and they have to do with somebody something somebody really close to me the dogs the kids the husband and it take and it, it they were like stuff that happened like one time I said I was gonna leave Alex I, I left Alex behind in my dream I was like ah, I've got too many kids you can just stay here I don't know where you're gonna go once they you know lo change the locks but you know you can stay here that was in my dreams uh, no, that's not okay. I had my dog's face. She has a cyst right here that I do need to get taken care of. Um, but it's not bothering her. I'm not rushing. 
Um, but I had a dream that, um, I'm waiting until I move to do it, but yes, I am going to take her in. I just want her in a stable place. But I had a dream that I took her to the vet. They cut it out, and uh, and they told me, oh, it's just going to be like two or three stitches. So, you know, once I got her back, I had her whole face was gone. They were like, oh, we had to take all up here because we made a little mistake here. And I mean, you could see her whole jawline. No. Ugh. And they were waking me up with anxiety. And then I'd have to, t so I caught on to the whole pill. I at least don't wake up during my dreams. So even if I have the crazy dreams, I'm not remembering them, which is yay. And then um, I'm okay during the day for the most part. I mean, I do have twinges, stuff still. I mean, the house was getting to me a little bit. That's because I got nervous, and I think anybody would have gotten that way. So, um, but yeah. Um, and then, so that that part of life is taken care of and then I had um, Friday I had cortisone shots in my knees I went to the orthopedist I've had bad knees I tore my meniscus in my left knee when I was 25 and my right knee started acting up about five years ago and I was like okay they all said lose weight lose weight lose weight your knees will be better blah 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 that's not the reason why I had weight loss surgery. I had to lose weight. I mean, there was no doubt about it. But my knees got worse as I lost weight. So, there was, Michael was helping me up off the couch. And I was grabbing the wall to get off the toilet. I couldn't get up. I couldn't get, and sitting down, I'd have to like talk myself into sitting down. So, I was okay up. I was okay down. But the process of getting up and down was like, this is horrible. And they crunch really loudly and really bad. So I called the doctor. I called an orthopedist. Um, and I went in on Friday. And he looked at him. He said, I have severe osteoarthritis in both knees. But I'm only 46, so he didn't want to do knee replacements. He said, I'd rather you be over 55 before we do that. He goes, if we have to, then we have to but I want to try other options first. And I'm like, okay. So, um, the first one was a cortisone shots and I knew my insurance covered it. So I just did that. Um, I did the second one. He said, most insurances don't cover mine does, but it's like gel injections or something that gives you cushion on your knee. So I might do that next time. Um, and then the third choice was surgery, but not knee replacement where he'd go in and scrape out all the arthritis and stuff. He goes, but he goes, you're going to be down for a while. And, you know, so he goes, let's try the other two options. So I did the cortisone shots and oh, I got home and I was hurting. And it wasn't the pain from my knees. It was the shots. I could tell, you know, it was a different pain. And I was like, oh my God, this is awful. That was Friday. Yesterday I worked all day. And they were hurting, but not nearly as bad. Um, I did ice them when I got off work last night. And I did um, obviously go to sleep. And I'm still taking naproxen just for the inflammation. Um, just to help. And then um, um, this morning, I mean, I'm still going to probably ice them today. I can still feel some pain from the shot. It's like my knee, my kneecaps are throbbing. It's weird. That wasn't happening before. But it's called cortisone flare or something like that. So, um, he told me I'd probably be hurting for three to five days. So, um, but I have so much range of motion in my knees. I can get off the couch by myself. I can get off the toilet by myself. I don't need to be calling like, you know, grandma, somebody, cause that's what everybody was calling me was grandma. And, um, so I'm hoping this lasts for a while. So at least the three months it says, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's been the week. The kids have been the kids. The husband's been the husband. Um, however, his breathing's getting really bad. He's waking up with crappy breathing. <sighs> that's why he's up right now. He did it the other morning too. Um, he usually sleeps in, um, but he goes to bed late. So, um, yeah. So that's all that's been going on. I've just pretty much blabbed through this whole video. I am going to try to film today for the week so I don't 
get tired <laughs> and not do it. So, um, I do have to work on Labor Day. So I have to work Monday and Tuesday. I'm off Wednesday. I have to work Thursday. I'm off Friday. I have to work Saturday. And then all next week I'm on paid vacation. So yay. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's our moving plans. Um, so we're planning on the 29th. Um, that might change this week. I will let you know. Um, but yeah. All right. Y'all have a good rest of your Sunday and a good week. Oh, like, subscribe, comment, you know, share. I don't know if you want to share me, but whatever. I don't know what I'm supposed to say here because I always mess it up. But yep. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.